Hi, I'm Tim Peterson, and we are going to look at the arm lock from closed guard, uh, and then the triangle choke as a follow-up when your partner removes their arm. Okay, so let's give it a look. Does it look like we're in pretty good frame here? We're good. So it's the same start as before, knees in the armpits, hands under my hamstrings, I pull, Travis pushes against that, and I'm able to get underneath his arms. I get a paw grip around the elbow. I go to his thumb or his knuckles, look across, keeping my jaw down, of course, as I drag his elbow across my spine. The same steps as the arm lock from before. Grab, bring his head down, bring my head up, lift his jaw, turn his eyes away. Now I step on the hip, and I go to clamp down on his back with my leg. Because I've kept this paw grip that I had at the very beginning, I'm able to tell where his arm is in the arm lock. Is it really deep? Am I gonna get this arm lock for sure? Or is he already attempting to pull his arm out of this? Okay, and if it's that second case, then instead of trying to just yank him into an arm lock, I will pull to give him the sense that I want the arm bar and get him to pull more. But what I'm essentially doing is as he pulls his arm out of there, do I pull all the way up? And my leg could be over and I could scoop back in and triangle him. Or, what we'll see later, is as I swing my leg over, I let the arm come out, go ahead, pull your arm out, and I just capture the triangle. But for now, we'll go like this. Here, arm lock. I go to finish the arm lock, I do it completely. I get the submission. Now my partner starts to pull his arm out, and I grab his shoulder with both hands and pull down and clamp down with my leg. This clamp down with my leg gives him the sense that his head is going towards the ground, so he's going to lift it up, and I can capture it in the triangle. If he does not lift his head, I'm not going to try to triangle him. I will try to sit up and guillotine, or go to the omoplata, okay? But to do the triangle choke, we lock the feet together. Now the first thing I do, and, and the thing you always do when you're not sure about the next step in a triangle, is grab their head and pull it down. I need to take this from a four-sided shape to a three-sided shape as much as I can, so I'm gonna bring my leg and bite into his neck. So it straightens out, clamps down. I grab that leg with my, I grab that shin rather with my hand, lock it over the top so my foot is under the bend of my knee. Once that's locked, I can lift my hip up and move his arm across. From here, I go through those same steps again. Grab his head and pull it down. Grab my shin, get flush with the bend of my knee against his neck as I pull. Lock the triangle and now move my spine underneath his arm. Now, for the finish, I wanna swim underneath his arm and hold my knee, and then I wanna sit up and cover the crown of his head with my forearm. A good way to remember this, and I'm loosening it up so Travis doesn't pass out in the middle of this, um, is to bring my shoulders all the way up to my partner's head before I start finishing the triangle. So I've locked, bring my shoulders all the way up to my partner's head, grab on, knees together, Extend from the hip and pull with my grips to get the submission. Yep. So, from the arm lock setup. I would recommend practicing it by drilling get to, th to the top on the arm lock. Then let your partner take their arm out. As you switch your grips, clamp down. When you feel their head pop up, wrap them in the triangle. Bring their head down. Lock as much as you can on the triangle, whether it's here or here or here. Lock as much as you can. Then lift your hip and move the arm. And then readjust by biting into the neck with your knee. Locking over top to close off the triangle. Get underneath their arm with your spine. Sit up, shoulders to their head, wrap around your legs, and close the triangle. Okay. Again, very uh, basic but very, very important combination to understand. The arm lock from close guard followed by the triangle when your partner extracts their arm. If you want more videos, please click below to subscribe. If you want to dive in deeper, you can click here to get a free video seminar I did of one of my favorite sequences uh, from standing to submission. And if you have any questions or anything you want to see, please leave it in the comments below.